This video is about six trig functions. In geometry class, we already learned the three trig functions, sine, cosine, and a tangent. For a right triangle, for the angle theta, we can find the opposite sign and then hypotenuse side. Then the other leg will be adjacent side. We have so Sokantoa to remember the definition of a sine cosine tangent. For sine theta, that's the opposite over hypotenuse. For cosine theta, that's the adjacent over hypotenuse. For tangent, that's opposite over adjacent. Normally, we call these three trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, is a major trig function. The other three, cosecant, secant, and a cotangent, we call it's a minor trig function. And a cosecant theta will be related to sine theta because it's a reciprocal of sine theta. Secant theta will be reciprocal of cosine theta. Then cotangent theta will be reciprocal of tangent theta. For these two, I don't worry about that. So far, no students will be confused with these two. But normally, Students are confused with the cosecant theta and then cosine theta. They think cosecant theta should be related to cosine theta because both have cosecant, cosine. And uh, sine theta will be related to secant theta. But the fact it's not. That's how you remember. Cosecant theta will be reciprocal of uh, sine theta. Remember the first letter is uh, different. Second theta is a reciprocal of uh, cosine theta. You see the first letter is uh, different. Let's talk about the name of uh, each trig function. We have sine and a cosine. We have tangent. Then here's cotangent. Then we have secant, then cosecant. So we see sine and a cosine are cofunction. And a tangent and a cotangent, they are cofunction. Then this is a secant and a cosecant, we see cofunction.
for a code function, there is a very important uh, formula. Let's talk about sine and a cosine, because we already know that cosine 30 degree equals sine, what degree here? Will be 60 degree. And uh, sine 45 degree equals uh, cosine will be 45 degree. And uh, cosine 0 degree equals sine. What degree here? It will be 90 degree. So did you see the pattern? Can you figure out uh, cosine 14 degree equals uh, sine what degree? It will be 76 degree. Because from these three, we know that uh, adding will be 90 degree, 45, 45, 0, 90. So you can change any trig function into its uh, co-function by doing 90 degree minus uh, theta if we see this part is a theta degree. Then you can change any trig function into its uh, co-function. For example, if we have second 70 degree, it equals a cosecant. What degree will be 90 minus 70 will be 20 degree. And for tangent, 85 degree will be cotangent using 90 minus 85 will be 5. Now let's go to guided practice for 6 trig functions. Use the given trig function value of uh, acute angle theta. That's the keyword, acute angle theta. To find the exact values of uh, the 5 remaining trig function values of uh, theta. First of all, we know this is an acute angle. Sometimes uh, the question will say angle theta is in a right angle. In this case, still we know that uh, theta is an acute angle. So how can we draw this acute angle? Let's uh, draw a acute angle in a coordinate plane. For this coordinate plane, we know that this will be the 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, and uh, 270 degree, then go back to 360 degree. What's acute angle? Acute angle means uh, this angle between 0 and uh, 90 degree. So I will draw this. We see this is a theta because this is acute angle. And uh, I will label the coordinates for this point, uh, let's do x, y. Uh, I want to form right triangle so that I can get the sine cosine tangent. We know that uh, for right triangle using Sokantoa, we can figure out sine cosine and a tangent. So I will draw right triangle like this. 
So for this right triangle, and uh, the distance between origin and uh, this point, let's uh, label as R. And uh, then for the opposite side, the length of opposite side will be Y. And uh, adjacent side will be X. We also label that um, hypotenuse opposite and uh, adjacent side. Then we use the uh, Sokentova. to figure out uh, sine, cosine, and a tangent. So we know that sine theta equals OH, that means uh, Y over R. For cosine theta equals A over H. That means uh, x over r. Then we got uh, tangent theta equals o over a. That means uh, y over x. This is a very, very important uh, formula you need to remember. Now let's go back to this uh, right triangle and uh, we know for right triangle we have Pythagorean theorem therefore we can figure out that r equals square root x squared plus uh, y squared and uh, x equals square root r squared minus uh, y squared then y equals square root r square minus x square. This is the relationship between x, y, and r. We are using these uh, two sets of uh, formula to solve guided practice. This is the uh, Six uh, formula we just got. We got to use this one to solve for question one. Cosecant theta equals five. Remember, we love major trig function sine, cosine, tangent because we have so much information of them. But for minor one, we just know it's a will be reciprocal for sine cosine tangent so whenever you have a minor trig function first step we need to change into major trig function so we know sine theta is uh, related to cosecant theta when cosecant theta equals five we can figure out for sine theta will be equal to 1 over 5. For sine theta, we can label now. Because for sine, that's uh, y over r, which means uh, your y equals 1 and r equals 5. Therefore, you got to know x equals square root r square minus y square means 5 square minus 1 square that's equal square root of 24. for square root of 24 how to simplify you have to check uh, for this number do they have a perfect square number as a factors so normally we only need to check that uh, prime number squared for example, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, then 7 squared is 49. Next one will be 121. So normally we use these four numbers to check whether 
is to simplify the radicals or not. So for 24, you will see, can we divide by 4? Yes. So I will do 4 times 6. Then for square root of 4, we got 2. Then square root of 6. We know square root of 6 is a simplified uh, radicals because for 6, you cannot divide it by 4, 9, 25, 49. So we simplify as a 2 square root of 6. Now we can use the S, Y, and R to figure out uh, another two major trig functions. Therefore, for cosine theta, equals uh, x over r. That means uh, 2 square root of 6 over 5. Then for tangent theta equals uh, y over x means uh, 1 over 2 square root of uh, 6. Then we simplify when you simplify the radicals as a denominator, here is the formula to use. 1 over square root of a equals the square root of a over a. For example, if I have 1 over square root of 7, you will get square root of 7 over 7. If you have a 3 over 2 square root of 5. Then you go to do jump this square root of 5 as the square root of 5 over 5. Then carry on this uh, 3, do the multiplication, and a 2. Therefore, your answer will be 3 square root of 5 over 10. One more. If we have 2 square root of 10 over 3 square root of 7, still, you need to jump this one, square root of 7 over 7. Then carry on that 2 square root of 10 here. Then 3 here. So we do multiplication. You will get the 2 square root of 70 and over 21. Square root of 70, we cannot divide it by 4, 9, 25, 49. That's a prime number squared. Therefore, it's simplified. Then this will be the answer. Therefore, for square root of 6, I will get the square root of 6 over 6. Then I carry on this 1 and I carry on this 2. You will get uh, square root of 6 over 12. Now, we will get its uh, related uh, minor trig function. For cosine, we will get... Uh, Second, theta with leap, and uh, you will get uh, 5 over 2 square root of 6. Now let's simplify for this. I got the 5 over 2 square root of 6. So we jump at the square root of 6 over 6 for this one. Then carry on this 5 and a 2 multiplication. So we got 5 square root of 6 over 12. We got 5 square root of 6 over 12. That's for second theta. And uh, for minor trig function related to tangent will be cotangent. So we got cotangent theta equals with leap. But here's the shortcut. 
when you flip, it's easier to flip the middle one. We got uh, two square root of six. You know, when you do the math, you have to do the math wisely. Always look for the shortcut to get the answer fast. If you flip this one, I will show you how much work you have to do. You will get the 12 over square root of 6. So you got square root of 6 over 6, then carry on this 12. Then you reduce. Did you see you got the 2 square root of 6? Same answer. But you did more work about that. For number 2, you are given minor 2 function. So you need to switch into major 1. Tangent theta equals 4. But we need a fraction 4 over 1. So that we can label x, y, or r. For tangent theta, we label as y over x. Therefore, you got the y equals 4 and x equals 1. So r will be square root of 4 square plus 1 square. That's a square root of 17. Square root of 17. 17 cannot be divided by 4, 9, 24, 49. So it's a simply 5. Therefore, we can get another two major trig function. That's a sine theta equals y over r equals 4 over square root of 17. That means uh, square root of 17 over 17, I carry on that 4. Then I will get the cosine theta equals x over r means uh, 1 over square root of 17. Simplify that square root of 17 over 17. Then we will work on the minor one related to sine theta that's a cosecant theta equals. Remember we flip middle one so that we can do less work. That will be square root of 17 over 4. The minor trig function related to the cosine theta, that's the second theta. Still, you need to flip this one. That's a square root of 17. Yeah, that's all for number two. Now let's go to number three. Cosine theta equals a six over seven. Since this is a major trig function, we can just uh, label directly. Cosine theta, that's uh, x over r. Therefore, we got x equals 6 and uh, r equals 7. Therefore, we got y equals square root 7 square minus uh, 6 square. That will be square root of uh, 13. Square root of 13 is a simplified radicals. Therefore, I can get uh, another two major trig function that's a sine theta equals y over r. That means uh, square root of 13 over 7. Then for tangent theta equals y over x. That's uh, square root of 13 over 6. Now we will get the minor trig function related to each major trig function. For cosine theta, we know that's a second theta. It equals, we flip, then get 7 over 6. For sine theta, that's a related uh, minor trig function will be cosecant theta. We flip, you get 7 over square root of 13. 
then you can do 7 squared of 13 over 13. For tangent theta, its minor trig function will be cotangent theta. It will be 6 over square root of 13. That will be 6 square root of 13 over 13.